Hello and welcome to another video. This video is about one of the beautiful and the largest sand island in the world which is Fraser Island. Now the island name is given back to Australian indigenous name which is Gary and it means paradise. The island is in the east coast of Queensland state in Australia and very famous for forward driving, camping and fishing. In this video, I'll be presenting you the most iconic places to visit in the Gary Island. Let me tell you first how you can get in this island. There are three options you can choose to visit this island. First thing is taking your four-wheel drive in a barge, which is ferry. You can go from Riverhead near Harvey Bay and choose your drop-off location in the island, which can be Kingfisher Resort or Wungalba Creek. And your return trip for ferry transfer will cost you $195 per vehicle and additional $7 per person in the vehicle. Second, you can take your four-wheel drive in Mantare Fraser Island barge from Inskip Point near Rainbow Beach and you will be dropped off at Fraser Island Beach Track. And your return trip will be only $110 for one vehicle and no cost for passengers in the vehicle. If you don't have four-wheel drive, you can hire four-wheel drive in Harbi Bay but you may not be able to drive all around in this island. There are some restrictions for rented vehicle that you cannot go to some places. If you don't want to hire the car and if you don't have four-wheel drive, you can book a bus trip online and visit the island. The total price depends on your total days of booking. If you book the island trip in a bus for two days or more, your accommodation will be included in that price and you will get to stay in Kingfisher Resort or in Irong Resort. If you are taking your four-wheel drive and planning to camp in the island, you need to get the national park permit from the Queensland Park and Wildlife website and also pay the campsite fees at the same time. People who choose to do bus trips does not require national park fees and ferry transfer fees. Gary Island is very popular for camping, fishing and forward driving. When you get there, you will love driving on the beach. Gary Island has 75 miles long beach where you will get to see an amazing waves and crystal clear blue water while driving on the beach. It is not recommended to swim at the beach and it is not safe because of shark. However, you can drive up to Champagne Pool to refresh yourself and it is safe to swim there. Before you head towards Champagne Pool, you can also dip in the Ellie Creek. It is one of the most crystal clear creek in the entire island. If you are driving towards Champagne Pool, you will have to cross one of the most extreme point of this island which is Indian Head Bypass. If you drive from Irong to Champagne Pool, you will get to see one of the most famous wreckage ship in this island which is called Mehena. This ship was washed away in 1935 and now become a most iconic thing in the island. Another amazing experience is going towards Lake Mackenzie and it is a beautiful drive from anywhere in the island to this lake. You will be driving through the beautiful rainforest and soft sandy track in the island. You will love that bumpy ride in the forest and experience the fun part of a wood drive while driving towards Lake Mackenzie. Lake Mackenzie is one of the most visited and the spectacular place in this island. The sand and in this lake act as a filter giving the water its clarity and helps to make the water so pure. A quick tips for those who are driving first times on the beach and on the sandy area or doing four wheel driving. It is highly recommend that you should learn and watch videos about four wheel driving and sand driving before going in this island. You will stalk in this island very badly if you are an inexperienced driver and don't know much about sand driving and four wheeling. Forget about your phone and the network. There will be no receptions in many areas. Even you get connected, there will be very poor network reception. Before going in this island, have your UHF radio installed in your car or buy the little handy one from the market. It is always best to have one. If you are going out with children, be careful of dingoes. I think it is safe to camp in the private campsite. The private campsite in Dili village, Irong and some other place has secure and safe campsite with good facilities and amenities. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you like it, please share and subscribe our channel for more videos in upcoming days.